Hi guys, welcome to Lensar YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to create EC2 bootstrap script in AWS cloud. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the live session, we have to understand a few points, which is what is EC2 bootstrap script and their use cases. So bootstrap is basically, it is a script which is going to run at very first time. If you want to go ahead and pre-install something immediately without logging to your system, then with the help of bootstrap, you will able to do so. Normally what happened when we launch an EC2 instances in Amazon cloud, we have the option of passing user data to the instances that can be used to perform Amazon automate configuration tasks. This is the easiest way to send instructions to an instances at launch. We can also pass this data into the launch wizard as a plain text file format. So what we are going to do, we will install the web server and run index.html file through bootstrap script. Okay. So that is today our agenda. So let's begin the lab session. And guys, this is my AWS web console. Uh, we have to follow a few steps to convert our normal Linux EC2 machine into the web server. So the first step is to write a bootstrap script. So what I'm going to do, I open my notepad file and uh, write some bootstrap script, which I want to execute during the EC2 creation time. Okay, so I open my notepad. Here it is my notepad. And um, I started with shebang character. So I say, she bin bash okay and uh, i run the command yum update hyphen y so this uh, will update my environment before install the web server okay then i go with yum install httpd td hyphen y so this will install my web server package then i go with service httpd start this will start my web server then we do check config to always make the web server run on condition when we reboot the system so the command is chk config check config httpd on and um, now i'm going to make an index.html file for my web server so what i have to do i have to move the document root of my web server and it uh, and um, so I run the command cd var www.html and uh, this is the document root of my web server and here I make an index.html file. So for this I go with echo and I go with, with marq marq u double e okay and say welcome welcome to aws cloud okay and uh, just close it okay and where you wanna uh, grab this output in which file name index.html okay so uh, that's all so let's uh, see what we have did it first we update the environment then we will install the httpd server and start it then i make an index.html file in the web document root location and, uh, and let's check everything is okay okay looks good and uh, now move, uh, uh, we have successfully completed our first step and now move to the next step which is launch ec2 instances with this bootstrap script okay so what i'm going to do uh, here it is my ec2 services otherwise you can search it from here so i click on ec2 instance ec2 services and uh, let's check currently i have any running instance no look at that uh, so I don't have any running stance with this account. So I click on the launch instances and uh, from here I Go with the Amazon Linux, which is available with free trial. Okay, so select I go with the Let the load Okay, go with t2 macro Okay, and here in the configuration stand detail I go with the default setting regarding your VPC and network part, but if I scroll down uh, below uh, here it is uh, look at that in uh, in the advanced detail i can find user data field which uh, which i actually needed so here in this section i have the option either i can give the command or bootstrap a script as a text here or we can also uh, upload the file format if i click on the here okay so i go with the text file format and uh, and what I'm going to do, I just copy the entire content of my notepad file and paste it here. So it is my notepad file. I just control A, control C for copy and click and paste. Okay. Uh, let's check. Everything looks good. 
okay and uh, now click on the add storage go with the default setting uh, assign the nice name mm, just give the tag name in my case Linux web server could be anything no issue go to the security so in the security group I go with create new security group option and allow HTTP protocol firewall access under the port number 80 so that we can access the application over the internet through HTTP if you have existing security group with allow port 80 then you can go with that so what I'm going to do I go with add rule and search HTTP uh, okay here it is for, for, uh, port number 80 is by default and go with review and launch and click on the launch okay and uh, now I go with the existing key pair uh, but if you don't have an existing key pair then you can create it also so just click on the launch instances and uh, creating security group successful okay uh, your instance are now launching click on the view instances so now we have to wait for two or three minutes to get this system ready so we have successfully complete this step also and look at that this is the instance id it's 32 micro availability zone is us east 21b and currently it's in pending status okay and i have a public dns ip also and here uh, key name that is test one which is already configured for this machine and uh, let me keep refreshing okay and so now move to the final step which is check the web server contained publicly so i just copy the public id of this ec2 and paste it on the browser so let me refresh one more time okay it's running so here it is the public id i'll just copy it this is the public id i'll copy and open a browser right click and paste see what happened okay look at that so here it is we can see our web application is up and running and we can see the content of my index.html file so in this way we can execute the commands during the instance launch okay but now i want to share few more important points regarding this session suppose if you want to view the uh, user data information after successfully launch ec2 instances then what we have to do we have to just select this uh, instance and uh, and go to the uh, action tab and here instance setting and go to the view change user data information and from here we can click it and uh, this is the user data information we can check it of any running instances whatever we have mentioned in my file look at that everything is present here okay now this is the web console option we can also view this user data information from ec2 console also uh, what user data we have passed during the ec2 creation so for this demonstration i have to connect my ec2 so and uh, uh, log in with the root privilege so i click on the connect and just copy the entire path right click copy go to the download location of your uh, key file open my git bash utility from here and i close it minimize okay no need to notepad file so i'll minimize it one more time and uh, make it large for you okay and just simple paste the entire path and say yes and uh, let me okay i successfully log in go with sudo privilege i go with root okay here it is so uh, now i log in with root and for view the user data information from here i have a command so i have to run the command curl and go with http and 169.254.169.254 slash latest and user data okay so look at that here it is so here is the complete user data information whatever we get the information from the web console now if you want to view the user data text file so for this we have to go a location which is in uh, slash where and uh, lib and the lib we have a cloud directory and here we have instances okay when i press enter look at that this is the instance id so i just click over there and if i run the ls command here we have a file called user data dot txt so once i open it using cat command look at that so everything whatever the information here we have we can 
uh, go with cat user data dot txt file similarly if you want to grab the user data logs information then we have to move in slash where location so i go to cd where log and uh, if i run the ls command here we have a file i go with the cat command cat cloud init hyphen output dot log so once i press enter see that look at that everything is here so first successfully install the all packages that enable the particular services and make it permanent on also and finishing time and everything here so it is the long information log information related to the user data field so guys this is how we can bootstrap uh, script uh, we can use bootstrap script during the ec2 launch instances and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing and if you feel that something i have missed or you wanna uh, you wanna uh, wanted to learn more something else please leave your comment leave your comment section and uh, if you like this video please do not forget to like share subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update guys one more thing if you are interested in linux online classes for red hat linux and aws and many more please contact us through the given links which is the mentioned in the description thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye